So, in the pit lane, as you know, we have a max speed. Yep. But just be a bit extra cautious because there are a lot of gas, a lot of people on, on, the, on the pit lane walking and they, don't, they might not hear the car. The strange thing is, is you see drivers jump into these cars all the time on TV and it looks so easy and it looks so simple. But when you do it yourself, uh, your feet hit the pedals, but your head isn't actually below the halo when that happens. So I was told to basically bend my knees up. They hit the top of the uh, monocoque. Uh, it becomes quite uncomfortable all of a sudden. The steering wheel goes on and um, it's right there in your chest and all of a sudden you kind of get a bit of claustrophobia just before you go out. All right. The sound of the car is very unusual. Uh, you get this real kind of space age uh, sound, a bit like a TIE fighter in Star Wars. Once you get over a certain speed, that noise gets um, crowded out by the noise of the wind just rushing around your head. These cars can actually go really quite fast, but I didn't get close to hitting uh, anything like its true potential. The strange thing is, is that when you get out there, even though you are going fast and even though you're on a racetrack, uh, your mind kind of blanks all of that out. You're basically looking at when you can hit the brakes for the next corner. Um, but yeah, the, the speed doesn't really register that much uh, because you're so concentrated on turning the car in, hitting your braking points and, um, and also getting back on the power again. Once you get used to it, it actually just feels like a big go-kart. It's obviously quite heavy for a racing car, but it's so, so responsive. And um, you're sat there with the steering wheel in your chest. Every little movement you put in is reflected in what the car is doing on track. Yet the grip uh, really isn't there because it's running on what are very similar to road tyres. Uh, they work in both the dry and the wet. They're not like slick racing tyres that a racing car with that amount of power and, uh, and that, that level of performance is is used to. It was a sense of relief in, in some respects because on the lap as I was coming back to the pit of the car, uh, snapped kind of out of my hands. Uh, the, the steering wheel actually went so far around to the left uh, as it counter steered and the whole thing came out of my hands and I grabbed it again. So coming back into the pits, initially I was, uh, I was just a bit relieved and um, they immediately asked me whether something had gone wrong. And I heard a lot of commotion <laughs> going on over there. Did you have a little bit of an incident? I kind of like played it down a bit, but uh, knowing that in fact I've been incredibly lucky. The thing you notice like after you know even just five minutes, ten minutes out of the cockpit, you just want to jump back in because you think, well actually I probably could have pushed a bit harder there, like maybe that corner I could have done a better job. Quite quickly you do just want to get straight back in it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.